Buenos días. Muy buenos días. I would like to thank you all of you for being here today and for us to defend our community, our neighborhood, the energy that our community provides for all of us. I would like to thank you for being here today also because we have to defend our community. And for that, I would like to thank you for your time today. And also I would like to apologize for you because I send you, all of you, an email with an emoji, uh, with a wrong face that I tried to put in the, in the email. Instead of putting like a, a happy face, I put it like a sad face. So for that, I would like to apologize for you. Thanks so much for coming, my day. Sure, no problem. Sorry, Lee. Don't worry, just take a seat. Hey. Hi. You here for Kat's wedding? Yep. Maid of honor. Lit. It is indeed. What the Ooh. fuck? Olivia, you didn't tell me my ex-boyfriend was gonna be here. What? It's Boston. Everyone's ex-boyfriend's around the corner. Mm. Catalina's ex-boyfriend's here. Okay, the second order of the business, this one comes from a group of members. As a group, we all need to decide what term we use. Latinos, Latinas, Latin X. It's pronounced Latinx. Why? Latinx is a term that's used to be inclusive of everybody. All genders, gender non-conforming, gender fluid. It brings our community together. Here's an idea. Why don't we say Latin Americans if we're referring to people from Latin America? Are we still talking about this? This is almost 2020. It's a positive term. Let's use it. Let's just say Latin. What about Hispanic? We still call it Hispanic Heritage Month, right? I mean, to be honest, when I hear Cardi B refer to us as Spanish girls, I smile. What about the words todos, todas, ellos, ellas? The whole Spanish language is based on gender. All right, let's stop speaking the colonizer's language. English is the colonizer's language, so... I just think it's confusing for people, you know? I think that change is a transition for some people too, you know? Um, like, I would hope that one day, and I ain't trying to have kids right now or anything like that. I'd hope that my future kid, my future children, will live in a world where, you know, acceptance, um, inclusion, equity, equality, you know, regardless of race, uh, gender, sexual orientation, or uh, gender non-conforming, it's just the norm, you feel me? If Latino is a Spanish word, why we can use, why we using X? I think we can say Latinx, or we can say Latino, Latina, Latinx. Ya me tengo que ir para el trabajo. Right, okay, next business. We are putting together a report, interviews, from all the local Latinx, business owners, and also business owners of color to get the sense of uh, their need in the neighborhood as we try to preserve it. Who would like to sign up? Oh, we have a volunteer here. Thank you. Great. Wonderful. Moving on. What do you think? Afro, Latino or black? What do you think? Yes, you. I have thoughts on this. Nosotros somos de una organización comunitaria y estamos entrevistando a comerciantes en el vecindario. Muy bien, muy bien. Estamos aquí para okay. ayudarle. Uh, ah, pues, uh, ¿qué te gusta más del vecindario? Bueno, del vecindario me gusta todo. Eh, uh, me gustan los dueños de, de negocios, de comerciantes. Uh -huh. Y siempre estamos, siempre estamos compartiendo, siempre estamos unidos. 
como Egreso en escuela. O sea, como vecinos. Como vecinos. Siempre estamos apoyando uno al otro. Si pasa un problema en un negocio, está uno, tanto los negociantes. ¿Qué es lo que pasa? Claro, se cuidan el uno sí, al otro. Y eso, eso es bueno. ¿Tiene alguna preocupación sobre el futuro del vecindario? Eh, sí. Lo, la principal preocupación es que con la alza de la renta, los dueños de negocios vamos a ir desapareciendo poco a poco. No podemos hacer nada con eso. Otra cosa también con los con los jóvenes que ya son parte de mí, de mi vecindario, ¿verdad? Que cada año siempre van desapareciendo, siempre van pasando y ya van falleciendo. La preocupación más mía es que cada año que va pasando vamos perdiendo más. Tampoco no hay manera de cómo poderlo ayudar. Y eso me preocupa a mí mucho. Que nos vayamos desapareciendo todo ya como la Egerson, fuerte, ¿verdad? Sí. Eso me preocupa mucho. Porque cada día vamos perdiendo uno y dos seres queridos, amistades de nosotros. Sí. Y no poderlo ayudar, eso es algo preocupante. Claro. Sí. No puede hacer nada. Eso es algo preocupante. Um, I'm from Haiti, and uh, I'm Haitian. I used to live in Dominican Republic so many years. Used to have my own business over there. So since I came here in the U.S., I still continue to do my job because I really love it. I'm enjoy it. Mm -hmm. This is my passion. Now I'm here because I was looking for a small shop like mm -hmm. this one, yeah. and I got it. And that was my dream, and I realized it. Thanks, God. Beautiful space. Thank you very much. That's my dream. Yeah. So what is it about this area that you enjoy the most? Um, in this area, I'm enjoying people who work around here. And uh, they come and visit my shop. I enjoy it around here in JB. I don't know. I, hear that. I, hear that. <laughs> I and, love it. And so what, on, on that same subject, what are you most worried about with this area as far as um, things changing? As a new business owner here, I always, you know, go to the meeting from Eglestone people around here mm -hmm. to see what's going on. Ah, oh, I think it's a, it's great. I think it's it's great now. Thank well, you so thank much. You. Yeah, thank you. And thank you for you guys who's coming in here too. Yeah, I appreciate everything. Thank, thank you so much. Thank appreciate you very it. much. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. You see, that wasn't so bad. Huh. That's fine. Yeah, it made me appreciate this area more. Mm. Like, I would definitely raise my future kids here. Mm. 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 Mm -hmm. Oh, Monta's around the corner. She's gonna come meet us. Mon Monta? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Right, right now? Yeah. The three of us? 
Yes. Okay. Yeah. Why are you asking so many questions? I'm not. I'm just trying to clarify.